Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you're new. My name is Kirsty. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a grocery haul. Uh, we also went to one of our semi-local farm stores and got a few things so I'm going to share that haul with you. Plus one of the items is really exciting and special so I'm excited to show you. And I'm going to be sharing a taco dip recipe at the end of this video so make sure you watch all the way till the end. Today's grocery haul video is a part of the collaboration that is hosted by Tiffany over at Small Town 6 and Jessica Myros. They host this collab every single month and I absolutely love it. I will have both of their channels linked in my description box below along with the playlist of all the other creators that are participating in this collaboration. So if you love grocery hauls, I know you will want to go check out that playlist. I got a thing of cherry pie filling. Um, coming up this week, I have a collab with a sweet friend here on YouTube, and I'm going to be using this cherry pie filling in one of the recipes, so I'm excited for that. I think you'll really enjoy it. I got six cans of cut green beans, two cans of corn, one can of mushrooms, one can of diced green chilies. We needed another thing of sweet potatoes. Got a two pack of cream cheese, a two pack of salted butter. Got a thing of our favorite barbecue sauce, which is just the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. I got a three pack of the Velveeta shells and cheese. Uh, we have a lot of just the regular Kraft macaroni and cheese, but we like this one even better. So we leave this in the prepper pantry too. And so every time we use three of these, I just replace it with a three pack. Got a thing of pork egg rolls, some corn dogs for the freezer just for snacks. I got a can of flaky biscuits. I got this here for a recipe that's also going to be in a collab. Um, it's just the ready to bake pie crust. Needed a bag of frozen broccoli. Got a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. Got another box of the beef and cheese taquitos. Got two more bags of just the great value chicken strips. These are really good. We like to um, put these in the oven and bake them and then we put them with barbecue sauce and we just kind of mix them all up together and it kind of tastes like little um, barbecue boneless wings, kind of like that. And I got a 10 pound bag of just the Idaho potatoes. And this week we went ahead and got two boxes of the ice pop um, these are the ones that you just freeze at home so when you buy them at the store they're not in the frozen section all the time and you just um, you just freeze them at home they're really good now I had to get some stuff that was not grocery related um, Tyler and I both needed some deodorant I needed some more concealer had to get some soap and we went ahead and bought a couple or a few movies because our internet went out and it's going to be a little bit before they can get it fixed and we don't have cable or satellite we just do um, like the apps and stuff and of course you have to have internet to do that so we went ahead and grabbed a few movies just in case we need something to watch now I'm gonna share an Atwoods haul with you and this is gonna be a lot of fun it's just a surprise at the end <laughs> uh, we bought Tyler a another thing of camo overalls this is one hint. I had to get some pine shavings. Um, Copper, who's right here. <laughs> His birthday is tomorrow, and so I bought him this little birthday cupcake. It says happy birthday cupcake on it. It's so cute. And we just went ahead and bought this rope because they needed one of those. We got a thing of starter feed. And here is the surprise. Oh, I'm so excited. Look. <laughs> we got baby ducks. How sweet! And of course, Copper is very nosy, and so is Mosey. <laughs> but these are the newest additions to our farm. How sweet! Y'all, how sweet are those baby ducks? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, we were actually going to get them a couple weeks ago, but when we went to the local farm store, they didn't have any more, and so we were really upset and sad. But I just thought, well, maybe that's just a sign that we're not meant to have them right now. Well, we went back to that store today and we weren't really planning on even looking at the ducks. That's not why we went. 
but when we were there we're like well let's just go look and see and they had some so we went ahead and got them so I'm so excited to bring those baby ducks to the farm now I'm gonna be sharing with y'all that taco dip recipe after I get all these groceries put up <laughs> but um, we have really really enjoyed this taco dip um, I was actually craving tacos one day and so I was just kind of throwing some things together to kind of make tacos and after I put everything in it that I wanted to it was kind of too much for just a taco or a burrito and so Tyler had the idea of, well let's just eat it with chips like a dip and it is so 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 good I like to start my taco dip out just by browning up some ground beef I have probably about two two and a half pounds of ground beef here and we're just gonna want to cook this until all that pink is gone now this is the fun part because this is where I like to add in my onion and my peppers and we're gonna be using lots of different peppers so if you're making this just use whatever peppers you like we're going to use one of each color of these bell peppers the color bell peppers um, i'm going to use some of these banana peppers that we got from our neighbor just a yellow onion i'm going to put in two of these anaheim and then one jalapeno So our ground beef is completely browned. I'm gonna go ahead and add in one package of regular taco seasoning. I'm gonna give that a stir. Now I didn't have very much grease. I mean, it looks like there was, but I really didn't have that much grease in this uh, beef. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in there. Um, if you're making it and your ground beef is a lot greasier than this, <laughs> um, just go ahead and drain some of that off because you don't want too much grease in this dip. All right, so that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add in one can of corn. This is also the fun part because you can kind of just pick what ingredients you like the most. I'm gonna add in a can of mushrooms. Give that a stir. And I have my heat on about a medium heat right now. Now that that's all stirred and incorporated together, I'm going to take my peppers and my onion, and we're gonna go ahead and put those in here. Okay, and I'm going to stir that together. As you can tell, we like to have lots of peppers <laughs> in our taco dip. But isn't this pretty? There's so many colors. That's one thing I love about this is there's so many colors. All right, and now I'm going to add in two of these containers of just white queso cheese dip. You can use whatever your favorite cheese dip is. If you have a favorite brand, or maybe if you make your own, you just want to make sure you add enough to where it's nice and creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and add a lid to this, just so that way um, the heat can stay in and it'll get that cheese all nice and melty. And we're also gonna let it sit here and simmer for a few minutes, just because I wanna make sure that the peppers and the onions get soft.
And that is how I make our taco dip. I want to thank y'all so much for watching today's video and just hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below on if you're going to try that taco dip or maybe you have your own taco dip recipe. I would love it if you would share with me and the community here and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!